taken was the view the finance minister may have been exonerated by the eight-member committee after it was established that he did not instruct that the money should be deposited into an offshore account. Ken Oferiata still has questions to answer because it should not have been done without his notice. There were certain things that uh, I personally, you know, did not agree with. Striking off of uh, one and three, um, one, to an extent, with a conflict of interest, I can understand, you know, issues. But still, I, don't, I didn't think that it should be off the table. And then the three, the having, you know, spoken with the GNPC and PEA, mm -hmm. I wasn't satisfied, you know, with the conclusion that they, they arrived at. And nobody could actually, you know, well, none of these two institutions actually mention the finance minister in any way. But it is quite hard to believe hmm. that whole arrangement is not, it's a, it's a bit murky. Private legal practitioner Martin Pigbu has commended the eight-member committee investigating the finance minister, Ken Oferiata, for the work done so far. In his view, Oforiata has been exposed by proceedings at the committee. Oforiata, the president's family, they are benefiting from every CD, every dollar we borrow. That's the cardinal message, and that's what we are going to stop, you see. So, Alfred, based upon the overriding theme that is being kept on, we are continuing the conversation. For me, I'll say that at least it's satisfactory, notwithstanding a few mistakes that have been made. Because now I'm sure Foriata, he can't sleep, hopefully. Yeah, he and his family, because it's that, wow, we've been really stupid, eh? How to think that Ghanaians were going to keep quiet for all this while so that you keep borrowing and keep benefiting? I mean, we're not going to allow that. Director of Communications of the MPP, Richard Ahiagwa, thinks the finance minister did nothing wrong and has since been to see him with the committee. So, there is no doubt in the minds of the committee, including even the NDC members of the committee, that clearly there was a basis that they knew before this allegation of uh, having crushed the economy, CD was in the, in the world and all of that, that the fact of the matter is that they were seeking to advance a political objective.